Hello everybody, the Drafter here and welcome to the second vlog 500 subscriber special and ask me anything. Yes, thank you for all your questions posted in the gathering video. Uh, there were a lot of them, actually 13. Wow, 13 questions. Um, first of all, I need to say thank you to a very special person, my partner, Barbara N, she's a Twitter as well, for supporting me through all this time doing these YouTube videos and things. Uh, I really appreciate your your support, my, my baby. Mwah, ich liebe dich. Sorry, that means I love you in German. <laughs> and um, yeah, after that, thank you to all of you, my more than 500 subscribers. Uh, there was a little bit of gap in the video production in the last days, uh, last weeks, I should say because uh, I'm not feeling very good, I have back problems mainly and it's quite painful, quite painful to sit down so since I have to sit down all day at work uh, yeah, it's it's dragging me a bit down but we are working on that, we are working on that, we are getting better and uh, this is the first video in a while, also it's a vlog, so wow <laughs> um, so let's, yeah, let's just jump into the action with the questions they are in the order as they were uh, written on the in the comment area, so that's how I'm going to read them. No, uh, no hard, uh, no hard times to anyone. Yeah. <laughs> the first question is from Mega Motor, one of my quite old uh, subscribers and viewer, uh, long time subscribers. His question is, well, first is, hey man, congrats in advance for 500 subs. I admit I need to catch up on Sky Factory, and I will soon. No problem, man. The question is, uh, what are your favorite games back in the day, from back in the day? The first games that made you think, wow, and you couldn't stop playing. Did you play classic PC titles like Ultima, Morrowind, Quake, or were you playing Mega Drive Nintendo games? Well, the first game that really made me say, wow, I think it was Syndicate for PC. Uh, I really played that game a lot, a lot, a lot. And uh, yeah, there was this game with those four agents, you had to complete missions, research new weapons, parts for their uh, cybernetic uh, bodies, and that was very cool, very, very cool. But I also played a lot of Ultima, starting with Ultima 4, 6, 7, part 1 and 2, 8 a lot, and 9 as well, so yeah. And I played a lot of console, because yeah, my first console was an Atari uh, 2600s, yeah. Well, <laughs> a lot of years have passed since that. Uh, yeah, that's 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 a lot of games I've played during my year. I'm quite older, <laughs> older than you think, maybe. And next question uh, from Draxaur: How did you get interested in Sky Factory? Uh, how did I get interested in Sky Factory? That's a good question. Actually, I found a video on YouTube about this mod. There were a few people making tutorials and let's play and I said, oh, this looks very interesting and it's modded Minecraft, so why not try it? And I decided to make tutorials because I was, yeah, there were not a lot of tutorials around, so I decided, well, let's try with making tutorials, that might be interesting for me as well, because that's something I wanted to do. And uh, there you go, that's how I get interested in Sky Factory. Next question is from my friend Mozix from Feed the Creeper and uh, where to start? Planning on going to Minecon? I think I owe you a drink. Oh yes, you owe me a drink. <laughs> I don't know why you owe me a drink, but yeah. The plan, uh, well, I would like to go to Minecon. Um, I still don't know where is it is it going to be uh, held and exactly where. I know it's in the UK, but the plan is yes, I want to go to Minecon, but I have already two travel to vacation uh, scheduled so that might get tricky but I will do all I can to be on Minecon and of course we can have a drink together Mosix. Let's have a round so you pay first I pay the second things like that. <laughs> Next question is from my friend Audio Modified always from Feed the Creeper. Uh, hey Drafter question for you I know you speak several languages but if you could be perfectly fluent in one language, what would it be and why? That's a tricky, tricky question. <laughs> well, I speak, I'm Italian, so my mother language is Italian. Then I also speak my dialect, <laughs> the dialect of my hometown. I also speak English and a little bit of German. We are working on German especially because I live in Austria. Uh, but if I would 
speak one of those languages, I would say dialect, the dialect of my own town. I will give you a demonstration. Uh, thank you, Audio Modified, for the question. By the way, Audio Modified is one of the person that needs to be blamed uh, for me getting interested in modded Minecraft. So there you go, blame Audio. <laughs> uh, so demonstration. I will tell you a sentence first in English, then in Italian, and then in the dialect of my hometown. So you will also have <laughs> subtitles. Um, I'll try to make them fit in the exact spelling. So let's see. The question in English would be, um, this morning we went to the wine cellar and we had a nice glass of wine. So let's go for Italian now. Questa mattina siamo andati alla cantina e ci siamo fatti un bel bicchiere di vino. And now dialect. Well, it's Italian, I, I assure you, but it's a dialect of my own tongue. Stamattina siamo aiuto andare alla cantina e ci siamo fatti un bel bicchiere di vino. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Audio, for the question. Very interesting. I hope I answered properly to your question. <laughs> Next question is from Mr. Shipko from Ikabot server and Fullstack server, one of my former uh, colleagues on those two uh, servers. Ask me anything. If you could travel to one place on Earth, where would it be? Uh, I think it would be Iceland, the land of ice and fire. It's really, really cool. It's a really cool place. I would really like to travel there and visit this country. It's a bit expensive, so uh, we will work hard in the next years in order to make this happen. That's your answer, Mr. Shipko. Next question. Trey, we are seeing two questions, actually. Have you ever been to the USA? What is your favorite food? Uh, the f answer to the first question is no, I've never been to the USA. It's planned as well. I really would like to go in New York City and visit the USA. And my favorite food, well, I'm Italian, so the kind of uh, answer to this would be pasta. But I would surprise everyone saying pizza. Yes, I love pizza. I really can't live without pizza every once in a while. I need to have a very good one, especially here in Vienna. I know a couple of very good pizza places. So yeah, pizza, pizza, pizza. <laughs> Uh, next question, Guy Michaeli, will you ever make a Sky Factory 2 MA system tutorial? I haven't been able to find any and I know you make awesome Sky Factory tutorials, so it would be awesome if you'd make one. Uh, yes, the answer is yes, definitely. Uh, there was a bit of a setback in Minecraft videos uh, for the reason I told already, so I would definitely want to make a MA system tutorial because a lot of things have changed since Sky Factory 1 in, uh, because the mod changed, basically. Uh, applied energistics to change a lot of things. So definitely stay tuned for the MA system tutorial. Next question from Danny Day, another one of my old subscribers. Your voices sounded weird, this vlog. Yes, that's true. First I was using the microphone of the webcam, things that I'm not doing today, <laughs> I'm using the Pro headset, and the voice sounded a bit weird because I was not feeling good already, I had a little bit of a, a cold, coughing, and things like that, so that's why my voice seemed a bit weird. Another question from Seaman246, well actually it's not a question, it's, oh my god, everything I know about Sky Factory is because of you, thank you, that makes my day. <laughs> Again from Guy Mike Lee, I have another question, when will you answer these questions? Well, there you go. That's all the answers you were looking for. Uh, the answer to the big questions is in life is 42. And now a question from one of my real life friends from Italy, Grandissimo Drafter, which means great drafter. <laughs> when are you going to reach 1000 subscribers? Well, hopefully soon, soon enough. <laughs> we will see. Thanks, Paolo. <laughs> Another very good question from Drakkart. Uh, Drakkart is probably the first person of commenting in one of my videos back like more than one year and a half. So I'm very happy that he, he posted the question for me. And they also invited to play, invited me to play on block centric, which for the same reasons that I said before, I'm um, not being very uh, active uh, until now, but we will make amend. Uh, I hope so. Uh, so, what happened that made you finally start YouTube? 
I mean, there has been a person or event or something that finally made you think like, okay, let's do this. And please let us, let us know how you feel about your first video now. Nice vlog drafter. Uh, thank you for the question, Tracker. So let's start with the end of the question. Let's talk about the first video. Uh, let's see if I can put it on screen for a few seconds. Hello, everybody. This is the drafter. And uh, I'm wel welcoming you to a new Minecraft series. And uh, well, that's boring. Another. So, yeah, the first video was something like uh, hello, hey, welcome, everyone. <laughs> um, why I started doing YouTube? So, first of all, I think I started because I was watching Kurt J. Mac Farlands of Bust videos. I thought, well, that's funny. I want to try to do that. And also to, yeah, I thought, well, it also may help me with English, with English. So, interact with other English-speaking people, hopefully that speaks English better than me. It might help me as well to improve on my English. I hope so. Uh, so, you know, talking, uh, improving, uh, doing a lot of, a lot, a lot of <laughs> mistakes. <laughs> uh, yeah, how do I feel about my first video today? Well, that was probably, yeah, I was not very comfortable behind the microphone. So now it's a bit better, I should say. Uh, I decided to add a little bit more of an uh, uncomfortable uh, situation, adding a webcam. So there you go. <laughs> last question from Grafonia. Okay, Grafonia, very last, uh, last minute question probably. She, she posted it uh, today, today, this morning. Uh, at least I saw it this morning. Oh man, I was missing the accent. <laughs> so I sneaked over for a drafter video and what a surprise, YouTube unsubbed me. Oh, jerk YouTube. <laughs> but to make up for it, a drafter vlog. Wow, hi. <laughs> Ooh, a question. I'm not good at questions on the spot, but if you were given an inordinate amount of money, say a year's wage, and could spend it any way you liked, but you had to use at least half to benefit someone else, what would you do with it? Uh, that's a very interesting question. Uh, so uh, I think uh, half of it, well, a year's wage, half of a year's wage, uh, I think I would give it and donate it to, uh, here in Vienna we have a lot of these animal house where animals that are abandoned or people cannot take care of them, they bring there. And they need a lot of help, so since I really like cats and dogs, even though I don't have a pet right now, you may know because Nerone was featuring in many of my <laughs> YouTube videos, so I would give half of this money to this organization that take care of uh, abandoned animals and, yeah, animals that are not taken care of because they really need help. Uh, and I think it's a good thing uh, what they do and what they do for these, uh, these animals that are our friends, basically, that they don't understand why they get abandoned. So thank you very much to everyone for the questions. I hope the answers are up to the level of the questions as well. Uh, some very good one. And uh, thank you again to everyone for posting them, for commenting, for subscribing to my channel, even though I was not very active in the past weeks, in the last two or three weeks. And hopefully we will get back into schedule with Sky Factory and all the other servers I get invited, hopefully. I had a little bit of a setback, as I said. And maybe more vlogs, if this is funny, if you like it. I like it, so why not? Uh, so have a good day, guys. I hope to see you next time. Ciao, ciao.